Here we have a GraphQL server that we can make requests to fetch episodes from our backend. When these requests happen, the one thing that we'd like to do is actually perform some middleware before or after the resolvers take place. One thing that we'd like to do when we make a request is to log the arguments that are input to the query or mutation. We also want to log the output or the result once the resolver has successfully executed. Here we have a GraphQL yoga server. It's using the node implementation and we're using the GraphQL tools schema package to make an executable schema. To get started, we'll install a package called GraphQL middleware. You'll also need to install the GraphQL package, but if you're using yoga, the chances are you probably already have that installed. So let's install GraphQL middleware. And once it's installed, let's go ahead and import apply middleware from GraphQL middleware. We can then use that function to create a new schema object and we'll call this schema with middleware. We can pass in our executable schema and then we can pass any middleware to the arguments after. Let's update where we pass the schema to our server and here we'll pass schema with middleware. If we save this and start the server and we head to graphical, we can make requests just like we were before. Now let's go ahead and create our first middleware and we'll call this log input. Here we'll create a new async function and we'll call this log input. This will be async and the first argument here will be resolve. This is what we'll call to actually resolve the underlying resolver from our executable schema. Then just like with any other GraphQL resolver, we can fetch the parent, arguments, context and info object. Then inside of here, let's create a new const called result and we'll await resolve. And then we'll pass along the arguments parent, args, context and info like you're probably used to having written a GraphQL resolver before. Then we'll go ahead and return result. If we go back to graphical and we make another request, we can see here that this request goes through as normal. Now what changed here is we actually are running some middleware and this middleware is running for everything inside of our schema. Now this middleware occurs before everything. It's not scoped to any particular field, query or mutation. So here we can call console.log and here we'll log the arguments as a new object. And here we'll inspect the output. And if we go back to make a request and let's change these arguments a few times to have different amounts. And we go back, we can see here that we have the arguments to our server. Now in between there are other requests made. This is most likely due to introspection instead of the graphical playground. And we can see here that we logged the result before that result occurred. We can also do the same to log the result. So here we'll call log result and we'll pass another middleware to our apply middleware array. And instead of calling that before, we calculate the result. Let's inside of here, log that result. Now, if we open the terminal, inspect the output, and we run that request and go back, we can see here that we log the arguments, then we log the result, and again, we log that result further down. Now you may have already noticed here that we have the output result twice for two of the different fields in our GraphQL query, and that is because these middleware functions run before fields as well. So let's go a step further, and here we'll call uppercase, and instead of logging that out, we'll call result to uppercase, and now this will pass here. But instead of just passing that function that applies to everything, we'll scope this to the episode title, and we'll pass that uppercase title middleware for the episode title field. Now, if we open the terminal and we go back, here we can perform this, and now we can see in the result that we've uppercase that title because the middleware ran for this field. So hopefully this has given you a good insight into how you can write GraphQL middleware for your yoga server.